All right, I'm going to cover these five points really quickly because it doesn't really have much to do with what I'm saying. But All right, Chick-fil-A has donated $5 million to organizations, including certified hate groups, supposedly depicting gay people as pedophiles, blah, 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 blah. And this lady says, uh, or the Huffington Post says, even if you oppose same-sex marriage, do you really want to support a company that does this? And then they go on to other stuff. All five points are about things that, that Chick-fil-A supports, all sorts of weird anti-gay things or, or whatever. They say, and then always it's always countered with, even if you don't support gay marriage, do you want to support a company that does this? Even if you don't support same-sex marriage, do you want to support fake science? Even if you don't support same-sex marriage, do you want to so support someone that's in a cult? Blah, 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 and all this other... They go on and on, basically. It's the same thing, right? Here's my opinion on the whole thing, okay? They can believe that, that, that a big chicken in the sky makes their chicken and waffle fries and delivers it in golden chariots. I don't really care what they believe. All I know is that a company is producing a product that I want and is opposing something that I don't really care about. So, you know, they're a private company and he's a rich ass dude who's got a ton of money and if he wants to spend it on that, he's got every right to spend his money how he wants. And I don't care. You know, I don't care if they if they supported gay marriage, wants to have a big giant gay island party. That's their own business and if they want to have a giant gay island party, then they should do it. You know, with like Elton John and Ellen DeGeneres headlining everything. That's whatever. I mean, what these, what people should be upset about is that there is elected officials in government oppressing people for their religious beliefs. That is bullshit. That is a 100% protected right. And, you know, pork and john jimmy down the street or susie or whatever you know pork and jill has absolutely zero protection under the law and is absolutely no one else's business if you're gay that's not my business and whatever sexual orientation i have is none of your business and it has absolutely nothing to do with any sort of rights or or anything like that at all but i think there's there's a fundamental disconnect in our society when we allow uh, government officials to intimidate and to oppress the free market and the free people of this nation.